Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Lydia Colbita and I'm Casey Kantz. In the case of that shootout in Saratoga Springs last November, we've just received a copy of the judge's decision dismissing the indictment against a Vermont deputy in that case. News 10's Trishna Begum joining us live in the studio to break down the ruling. Trishna? Lydia and Casey, in this 30-page decision uh, that I'm still combing through, Judge James Murphy lays out why he decided to dismiss this case. Murphy stating that the grand jury proceedings were flawed and unfair. Castlenova was indicted on eight counts, including attempted murder, stemming from a shootout in downtown Saratoga Springs last November. Castlenova from Glens Falls was an off-duty part-time sheriff's deputy in Vermont. Now, in his ruling, Judge Murphy wrote that he was highly critical of the case prosecutors had laid out for the grand jury, pointing out a pattern of overall bias and erroneous handling of the evidence. Murphy says that the improper tactics impaired the integrity of the proceedings. As examples, he cited improper narratives of what transpired that night, improper speculation by witnesses. But the most troubling part, he said, was the withholding of Uber video evidence from Castle Nova despite letting Alex Cologne, who was with the group from Utica, watch it as he testified in front of the grand jury. Now, in the end, Murphy ruled, quote, that the cumulative effect of these errors in this grand jury proceeding rendered it so flawed as to be fundamentally defective and cannot be said to be fair in any sense of the word. The judge's ruling did leave the door open for the prosecution to represent their case, uh, to represent their case to a new grand jury. Lydia. In fact, in a statement, Saratoga District Attorney Karen Hagan saying while the court raised issues with the way the case was presented, quote, it does not absolve Mr. Castelnova of any wrongdoing. We will take our time to thoroughly review the court's concerns and will move forward with the case.